Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Yes! So, some of you might be wondering, and I should say this isn't really another episode because this is the starting of my Kerbal Space Program career mode. So, I, the two things I need to cover before we actually get started here is basically one of them is uh, the submit a craft feature, uh, yeah, not the submit craft feature, but the submit a craft uh, thing that I have set up, you know, the subscriber submissions is always open and uh, whenever you want to, you can definitely send in uh, some kind of a submission for a craft or a rocket or whatever it is you want. Uh, it's pretty open, you know, uh, if you want more details, just check out my subscriber submissions video. It's in its own playlist. And uh, the other thing I'm going to mention is the feature of the week is Naughty Games, so go over the, and check out his channel if you got some free time. And uh, yeah, so you can see all the cool stuff he's doing. But anyways, to this craft here. So the one thing I've been doing is basically, um, I haven't really touched much into this career mode since it's come out. I've been kind of trying to keep myself very limited in my knowledge and is you know certain things I did just basically so I could do the update video so I could tell you guys about it so the one thing I'm going to say right now is that if you wanna name my craft for me because I suck at naming crafts so I'm just gonna call this craft one uh, craft number one I you know I really don't know what to name this thing because it is like the very basic of what a rocket is so this will be our first flight and uh, you know we're gonna try to collect some sciences stuff and everything else the one thing I do know is I could probably build a much bigger rocket and I could attach struts to the side that that uh, you can get but you're very limited on parts in the beginning I know I could attach the struts and then attach parachutes to these struts so then I could build like a massive rocket and launch that easily but uh, we have no decouplers right now, so that's kind of, we're kind of just stuck to something like this. So, what I'm going to do before we take off is I will send a crew report. And this is kind of so we can collect some science data just very quickly. And it, this really does help out in the very beginnings. So, let's just take off. There we go. It's just like, the this has got to be like the fastest takeoff I've ever had in this game it's just unbelievably quick uh, alright we're at 200 I'm just gonna coast for now uh, really no point in really trying to get past 200 at least for now you, you conserve some fuel even though um, fuel conservation is kind of a joke at least with a craft like this so I'm just gonna keep transmitting data well we're taking off and this will help build up uh, some science points at least something for the very beginning and you know this will really help out uh, let's see I don't know if I screwed something up there it looks like I toggled the torque so I'm just gonna keep slowing down and we're just gonna keep getting altitude and just praying that we can get past this lower portion of the atmosphere here. I really don't know if we're going to actually break the lower portion of the atmosphere this craft isn't really the best or the biggest craft I've ever really dealt with so it looks like we've passed that part of the atmosphere I'm just gonna speed up as quick as I can try to build up some battery here uh, it looks like we've submitted some data but it, it really we, we aren't getting very much here so I'll let this thing go as high as it can and uh, then I'll pop the chutes on it and we'll come back down hopefully in a safe manner there we go so we're falling back down amazing stuff we hit a pretty decent altitude I think it hit about 23 I wasn't watching a hundred percent there but I think it was like 22 I was just watching our uh, meters a second and that's when it started going back so I don't know if I think these chutes are made to deploy somewhere about 800 meters off the ground, if I'm not mistaken. So I can time warp through a good portion of this. See, I don't know if the physics, as far as your speed, change 
accordingly because I know certain things don't change accordingly and certain things get magnified when you actually uh, use the time warp feature so certain things change and certain and certain things don't change so I, I really don't know on what what will be affected so it looks like we're getting low enough uh, come on yeah, so can, you can go, do, please, uh, just, uh, there, thank you, thank you, whew, yeah, thank you, alright, so let's get this thing on the ground, I'm not even going to speed this up, because this is just so, uh, the time warp feature is probably going to work for my first few launches, but, uh, recovering vessels later, um, I think is going to be a little bit different, so, I think we're going to destroy some of this craft as well, yeah, we, we, we lost the engine. That, that's, that sucks. I don't know if we get penalized for any of that stuff. So this is one of the features I was talking about during that update. And this is the new feature. You can recover your vessel without having to go to your tracking station. You can just go to the top right here. This pops down, and that's all you have to do. And everything else is just taken care of for you. So let's see what science we've earned. 11 science for our mission and I guess that's pretty good for the first launch since we didn't really have any science experiments we were sending just crew data so I will definitely invest let's see what we get here we get a decoupler okay so we get a science we get a new science mystery goo container and a the bigger fuel tank and the very small one so this is looking pretty good so let's see what okay so it's like it's like a tech tree basically most of it gets opened up and most of the stuff can be earned at later times it looks like certain things are I don't know what they're weighted on um, because this is like 20 research and this is 15 and this is just in the middle I don't know if it's gonna always stay like that where everything gets weighted um, based on I guess I don't know if it's weighted on parts, or... I really don't know, because... I mean, honestly, this isn't, like, really that great of a, a gift for a tech tree as far as getting an engine that is less powerful than the one that you actually have. Um, or I should say at least uh, less efficient than the one you actually have. Whereas getting something like this is actually kind of a good thing, because then you can attach that to different stages. So it looks like, you know, for right now, we got this, and this is looking pretty good. So the one thing I've noticed, too, is I don't know, I, I really hope that this science currency actually carries over. So, you know, the next mission, if I earn 25 or something like that, then we'll get, you know, more stuff or whatever. So anyways, guys, uh, thank you for watching. If you like what you see here, subscribe. There's always more to come. To all you new people, welcome. And uh, yeah, I will see you next time. <laughs>